do all that. Um, we're just going to have a quick job briefing. Uh, we'll go through it. Does anyone know CPR or certified in CPR? What's your name, sir? Paul Yamaguchi. Oh. All right. If we have any incidents, we're going to go for Paul. Um, I have my cell phone on me, so if anything like that does occur, I will be calling 911. So when we enter the shop, we do have some hazards going on in there. We have low beams. Um, when you cross over the rail, we ask you to just cross over it. Don't step onto the rail. Uh, there is loud noises. It's an active shop, so there will be train horns, yeah. uh, bells, anything like that. Compressors going off, so be aware of that. When we do go in the shop, I ask you to wear your safety goggles and vests. We'll be hitting the control room. Uh, that's a live control room, so when we go in there, I ask you guys to silence your phones. Um, if you hear emergency, 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 I ask you all to exit. That's when we have an incident, so that's high stress level for us. Uh, when you go in there, you're allowed to take pictures. You'll talk to the controller. If you have any questions like that, you're more than welcome to ask. Um, when we're in the shop, you can take pictures. Me and Derek, we're pretty knowledgeable, but if we don't have the answer for you, I could try to get it for you. <laughs> Uh, so we'll start exiting out here. We have 17, so if you'll just follow me, that's our main one right now that we're working on and redoing the locals and buying new equipment. Is there any more talk about getting to Brigham City? <laughs> Wish. <laughs> well, in, in the plan. In the, in the plan. Year. So right now, Payson, the big one, Brigham, I think, would be after that if Payson goes as planned and under budget. And then getting Vineyard in. That's our big one right now. I don't know if anyone knows Vineyard. We're trying to get a station in Vineyard Station. Right now we have double track leading in and out is what they're building, and they're just trying to get the station and parking lot built. So Where's we'll Vineyard? That's fi What's Vineyard? Utah vineyard, Lake. just south. <laughs> so it's in between, let's see. Isn't that Utah Lake right there? Yeah, right there by Utah Lake where they put that over. Like they're doing some development out yeah, there. Yeah, it's just another little town. That one's been in, like, they've already had the foundation. They put the foundation in for that one back when they were, like, building the track, but just not the platform because they knew in future that it was going to be needed. So we're gonna, that's going to be another station to mm -hmm. solve that? Yep, so we'll have another station. So we'll go out this way to the right. Um, the first thing is we'll see the Hall of History. Hey, guys. So this up here is our TDX software. This is how we route and control all of our trains out in the system. Um, you can see the green lines. Those are routes that are aligned for our trains. Um, the red lines are the actual trains or occupancies on the tracks. And then you can see all of our control points. Um, at the top left, we have Provo all the way up to the Ogden um, station on the bottom, well, the bottom left on the second screen. And then all of these yellow lines are um, our crossings that we, uh, at level grade crossings, um, and then some of these we share with Union Pacific. And then we also...
So once you get to that end, you're going to have to turn around for me, okay? There's no stairs at the end. Okay. <laughs> get in right in. Two more. Two more. Derek can kind of tell you um, the modifications that we're making to the New Jersey cars. Uh, they went through a big rehaul about, I would say, 2015, where all the seats got ripped out and then redone. Very good. They were, he redid all the door stations for us. You can see the wiring behind these doors are kind of scary. They're like tube and bolt type of wiring. Do you want to kind of tell them what you did? So yeah, the there was like just some old technology with these because our cars initially were designed to not be opened by the public, I guess. And so where everyone has access once these door stations get like open. So there had to be some technology incorporated so that you know, that could be. Well, that came with some problems where if the operator was like close their doors, they would close. They wouldn't care if someone was in the door or not. Like it was a liability yes. issue. Mm. <laughs> and it like happened, wasn't someone like stuck with their backpack or something like that? They had a leg stuck in the corner and so, so it's just a... It was a liability issue. So I was part of a project where we had to like redo the doors. And so now if that situation, if they were told to close, It'll close, but it'll open back up, and the train operator can't move until whatever the obstruction was dealt with, or the doors are closed. So it's just a liability issue, but it was quite the process. explain the caps to you if like five of you want to come at a time it is a small area you can sit down to slime the cord try not to let it get caught on you <laughs> okay look at the camera <laughs> you're a true engineer you get it you're the driver you get it.
Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome. Yeah, thank you. Well, thanks for putting those vests back. Thank you very much.